Well, here is something I never thought I would see ever in a million years. Um, by now, I'm sure if you don't know, uh, Star Wars is releasing Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 1, the originals, the classic versions on current gen. And I believe like it says, oh, and last gen consoles with multiplayer features. Now, I, I, I'm kind of going to go down the list of, um, of things that they're talking about, right? Of things that they are adding and what's going to be supported and whatnot. Um, but honestly, I want to give my thoughts and what I hope for. Um, obviously, here it says Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront Classic Collection coming March 14th. So not very far at all. Uh, it says down here it will be $35.01. I'm like... Lordy, take my money because how long, how long have all of us wanted to play this game online with friends? Now, back in the day, obviously, we all know that it was all your friends come over. Y'all do split screen stuff. You, you do your thing. But now in this day and age with everybody being old and brittle like we all are, it's all online now. And they're they're finally giving us something we've been wanting forever. Um I have the dumbest smile on my face right now. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection includes a galaxy of content inspired by the original and prequel trilogies from famous battles across episode one through seven, one through six, excuse me, to playable heroes and villains like Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and more. Is Asajj going to have her, uh, her little nunchucks? That's what I want to know. To unique modes and challenges. See below for a full breakdown of what to look forward to, including previous console exclusive, exclusive extras now included on all platforms. So I don't remember what was exclusive on Xbox. I don't actually think I know what was exclusive on Xbox because back in the day, I used to play on PlayStation. Um, but now we'll be playing on Xbox, so I'm just... Wondering what was exclusive. Anyway, so coming down a little bit, uh, class uh, Star Wars Battlefront Classic, Jabba's Palace, Battlefront Two Classic, um, includes bonus maps, Bespin, Okay, Cloud City, Renvar Harbor, Renvar Citadel, and Yavin Four Arena. Huh. Includes Asajj Ventress and my boy Kit Fisto. Thank you. Traverse the galaxy in campaign mode and galactic. Can we do multiplayer galactic conquest? Can we do online galactic conquest? These streams that I would do with this. If you don't follow me on Twitch, make sure you check me out. Buckets and stuff live, all one word over on Twitch. Anyway, this is just this. Holy cow. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's it's the old stuff. It's it's like this is something. I will give them the $35 for nostalgia, goddammit. Um, devise your strategy, recruit your troops, and execute your tactical vision for conquering the galaxy, obviously in Galactic Conquest. Um, there's Hoth, never lost on that map. Look at these stills, though. Like, what? what, what is my boy? <laughs> look at... <laughs> look at Obi-Wan. And look at the... There's even look at the hilts. Look at Darth Maul's hilt. They didn't have to go that hard. Like, obviously, it's not going to look like Battlefront 2017. Obviously, I don't expect it to. But they didn't have to put that much detail into the hilts. Looks amazing. Expand Expanded Hero Assault. For the first time ever, Hero Assault is playable on all ground maps, including Death Star, Kashyyyk, Kamino, and Naboo. Yo, you used to only be able to do Hero Assault on Tatooine. This, this is big. Fight with heroes Mace Windu, Yoda, Luke Skywalker, and many others. This feels like back in the day. This is the amount of content that a game should drop with now. What I'm getting like chills in the dumbest way possible. I'm getting chills because when you keep seeing and many others, that's stuff that you don't really get anymore. And when you would get that, it's drip fed content down the line to keep the game alive. Darth Maul, obviously Darth Maul, General Grievous, Darth Vader, and many others. Um, 
Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2, originally developed by Lucas Arts, are action shooter games that incorporate. Okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So that's the end of the article. So I know there's a multiplayer aspect of it, but I'm not, I honestly am just not sure what the full aspect is of the multiplayer stuff. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to do everything online. I don't know if there's, I'm sure there's gonna be limits because it's a port. I'm sure there's gonna be limits, uh, but I'm just so happy, so happy. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a bit of a bittersweet to this because as y'all know, Battlefront 2, I've been kicking and screaming. I want Battlefront 3. And I know, I think it was even confirmed by EA themselves saying they have no plans for a Battlefront 3, which I think is completely stupid, especially with EA losing the exclusive license to or exclusivity deal to Star Wars games. You gotta, you gotta step your game up. Um, and I also think EA losing the exclusivity may have, may have, I don't know if this was Star Wars themselves re releasing this or if they had help from another studio. I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm just, this is all just really new to me. Like this news is really new to me, but I personally think that we need a battlefront three, all the content that we're, I, all the content we're getting in this game, just transfer over into what Battlefront 2 2017 was. And still to this day, if it doesn't prove that people still want a Battlefront 3, Battlefront 2, at least when I've played on Xbox, almost any time of the day, I can get into a game still. The game has been deadered since 2019. They have not given any new content since 2019. And people are still getting in there day after day after day. I'm preaching to the choir, at least I hope I am, but obviously if this does well, this $35 tag, tag price tag shouldn't be too much, at least for me, that's like what, half the price of games now, um, but it should stand as a testament that I hope that this pops off and so many people pick it up that it speaks to Star Wars. And they say, hey, let's make a Battlefront 3. I have done a Battlefront 3 wish list. If you want to check that out, check that out in the links down below. But let me know what you think about classic Battlefront games coming back on current gen multiplayer. What do you think? What do you want from Star Wars? Let me know down below and I will see you all in the next one.